What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the newest flagship Android phone from Sony Ericsson. This is the Xperia Arc in a slew of Android competition. Let's see if this guy stands out. So this is only available as an unlocked unit in the US. Thank you to the folks at clove.co.uk for sending us a model for review. If you want to check them out, link's going to be down below. On the front of the box, we have a picture of the device. This was one of the highlights of CES 2011. The thinness of this guy was really impressive. Uh, but that was back a few months ago when there have been a lot of phones announced since. So let's see if this is still uh, one of the creams of the Android crop. So XMR for mobile, HDMI, QuickTime, Wi-Fi, DLNA, and some stuff about what the phone can do. But we'll talk about all that. Let's go ahead and dig in. I'm excited to see what this guy looks like. Go ahead and pull off the box. Go ahead and pull it out here. This will have support for US 3G network on AT&T. Phone is extremely thin. You can see where it gets its ARC name from. Obviously, it's got a bit of an ARC to it. Very, very, very light. I don't assume the battery's in here. Let's go ahead and push that off and see what else we're going to get in the box. So, warranty information, important information, my first hour, all that stuff that you're probably not gonna read, but there it is. Ah, here is the battery. It was not in there. It is a 1500 milliamp hour cell. You can see that right there. Push it off to the side. Let's see what else we're gonna get. Looks like Sony Ericsson was nice enough to include a mini HDMI to HDMI cord. Very nice. You expect a bit of premium accessories when you buy an unlocked device. You're paying a premium for the phone. Uh, you'd expect accessories like this to be included, so it's always nice when they oblige. You're going to have a pair of headphones. You've got those jelly rubber tips on them, and there's a microphone, and there's that Sony Ericsson silica stuff so it doesn't go bad. And you're going to have a microphone with the volume controls on it and a button on the back for sending and ending your calls. We've got a wall charger. If you are in the US, you're probably not gonna wanna use this one, but it's just HDMI, so anything will work. And then there is the, it's like a right angle mini HDMI cord. And a screen protector, kinda neat. Okay, so enough of the accessories, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone. Most importantly, because this is where all the action happens. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop in the battery, and while it's booting up, I'll run you through the specs. All right, so the back comes off very easily. Just flip your fingernail under there and pull off. A little bit of a plastic comes out. You're going to have an 8 gigabyte micro SD card installed. Let's go ahead, take the battery, pop it in, and let's do a power and boot up. And I'll walk you through and show you what you can expect with your Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. So the power button, I'm assuming, is going to be living somewhere on here. There it is in the upper left-hand corner. All right, so this will boot up, and I will run you through the specs of this guy because there is actually quite a bit here. Uh, so it has a bit of an odd screen size. Most phones we're seeing are 4 inches or 4.3 inches. Uh, this guy is actually 4.2 inches diagonal with a pretty high resolution of 480 by 854. Uh, it's got support for Sony Mobile Bravia Engine in it. It's not support, it's got it in there. Uh, supposedly you're gonna get much, much, much better graphics. Uh, you're gonna get very sharp images, pictures, text, everything is going to look quite nice. Uh, from what I remember from CES, the images and video on here really did look very good. Uh, it is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread with Sony Ericsson's Timescape UI on it. It has, uh, on its hump, an 8 megapixel camera, which of course will autofocus, and LED flash. It also has a smile detector, so if you're grumpy, uh, it's not going to take a picture of you. It will record video in 720p, however, at 30 frames per second. And we're looking right here at the Timescape UI home screen. It's the same UI we saw with the Xperia Play. Being powered by a 1 gigahertz Scorpion processor, and that is a single core, but this guy should be relatively quick. We've got three buttons here across the bottom. This is what Sony Ericsson is doing with their Android phones now. Uh, we don't have a search button, but you do have sort of standard looking Android buttons at least. Uh, you've got your back, your home, and your menu button. A little bit of an odd order. Uh, what we don't have, however, is a front facing camera, so you're not gonna be seeing any of that here. On the left, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. You can follow that slim and slender body. It's like a supermodel. 
All right, sushi joke. All right, so all of my bad jokes aside, on the right-hand side, we've got what's becoming now an uncommon power or a camera button. So we've got a dedicated camera button there on the right. We've got a volume rocker up and down, and you have what looks to be a proprietary charging port. It doesn't necessarily look like micro USB like we've seen, and if you look at the charging cord that came with it, it actually is. So something to keep in mind, that is standard, just happens to look weird. On the top, you've got your HDMI out underneath a little bit of a door. There we go. Get that door pulled back. There, you can see it. Haha. -ha. And you've got your power and lock button. So let's take a real quick look at the Timescape UI, and of course we'll walk through all this when we do our full Techno Buffalo style review. So let's unlock it, at least in theory unlock it, and ask us to set up where we are. Well, we are not there, we are in the US. Hit next. Please insert SIM card and restart your phone. Well, I don't have a SIM card in there, so maybe it'll, I'm probably agreeing to have my location tracked and People always know where I am. Here we go. Okay, so we've got some timescapey goodness. Let's go ahead and jump into settings. Let's make sure that this is indeed running gingerbread. So one of the things that I don't get, at least with Sony Ericsson's gingerbread timescape devices, one of the best things, at least for me, about gingerbread is when you hit the menu button, you get a task manager and you can see what's running. When you hit the menu button here, you don't get that. All you get are wallpapers and settings. I find that a little bit on the annoying side. All right, so you get that little bit of a white color that shows up at the bottom. Let's go ahead and check out about phone, Android version 2.3.2. So we are indeed running some JBread. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some images. So maybe let's go to wallpapers, see what stuff looks like on here. Let's go to Sony Ericsson wallpapers, see if they put any pictures in here. So the screen does look nice. I mean, it looks relatively high resolution. Uh, it's hard to tell just kind of on a first blush test, but there's a lot to see here. If you go ahead and do that little pinch to zoom action, it actually pulls in all the widgets. You can see what you got there. It's called an overview mode. Kind of neat. We'll go ahead and exit out of this. Move around. You can see all your home screens. If you don't like it, nice thing about Android is you can customize it any way that you choose. So this is a really, really, really thin phone. Let me show you how thin it actually is. Let's bring in the Samsung Droid Charge, a 4.3 inch phone. Very similar form factors. Let's go ahead and stack these guys. And they're just like, bam, skinny sister, fat sister. I mean, this thing is really, really, really thin uh, and still extremely powerful. So I'll go ahead and push that off to the side. And let's see how it looks next to an iPhone 4, uh, another phone perhaps you might be cross shopping it with. Let's go ahead and do a little stack job again. Boom, see how thin it is. It's like a smartphone sandwich, nom, nom, nom. You can definitely see how thin the Xperia Arc is. So I'll be doing a full review and overview of this guy and showing you some of the features, telling you what I like and don't like about it, uh, and all the rest of that business. Anything in particular that you want to see, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video.